Hello, I'm Ros Atkins. Welcome to Outside Source and welcome to the centre of Brussels, Jack's next door to the building which houses the European Parliament. There are any number of stories from these European parliamentary election results. We're going to start with a focus on the UK because a party that was only formed six weeks ago was the big winner there. The Brexit party swept a victory and its leader is Nigel Farage. We're in Brussels after all, we've got the right experience, let's make sure the country is ready on the 31st of October to leave the European Union on whatever terms. It was a disastrous election for both the opposition Labour Party and the ruling Conservatives who had their lowest national election result in their history. This is um, the worst result in our party's history in uh, uh, elections. We were also watching closely for the successes or otherwise of populist and nationalist parties. In France, Marine Le Pen beat Emmanuel Macron. Emmanuel Macron has no choice but to dissolve the National Assembly and make it a more democratic election that finally reflects the real opinion of the country's people. As if we didn't have enough political drama, this has nothing to do with these elections, but the Austrian government has collapsed after Chancellor Kurtz and his government lost a vote of no confidence. Well, when you have an election which involves 28 countries and an electorate of over 400 million people, over 15,000 candidates and a range of different electoral systems, there was never going to be one story that came out of this. There were always going to be many. And across the next hour, we will take you through all the most significant uh, results and the ramifications of those results.